hey, Brian, uh, you know what I want to do? What's that? I want to take a look at something that could potentially bring, breathe new life into my old DSLR. Oh, it's funny you should say that because I happen to have my old DSLR right here with me. Okay, so what is this? So this is a Canon T3i, also known as a 600D around the world. Um, I've had this, I think, I got this the first year I started working at Twit, so it's about two or three years old now. You can pick them up on eBay for around $300. Um, nothing terribly special about it. It does have like a little, you can pull out the screen. So I use it for a lot of the videos that, that I do for this show and everything. And it's just got the kit lens that came with it. Uh, but Canon was, I don't know if I want to say lazy, but they didn't really release it with a lot of software, especially for someone who wants to do video or get a little bit more professional kind of results out of being able to tweak some of the options. So there's a, a really simple thing that you can do called Magic Lantern. You download it, put it on the SD card, and then it opens up all those options on your on your camera, and you don't have to like hack anything. It's just on the SD card. Oh, so so this is this is not like disassembling the camera or removing a memory card. This no, is no, no. literally something that lives on the little SD card that you put into it, and it, it it what it boots off of that. It boots off of that, and then then if you end up thinking like, oh, I don't really want to use this, or it's not helping me, you just take out the SD card and format it. Like you well, it's not you, permanent. You have gotten me absolutely interested. You know what I would love? I would love if there was some sort of video that you could show me. Well, that, Alex, guide me through the steps. Could you hit that magic button? Now, for this project, all you're going to need is a Canon DSLR. In my case, it's a T3i, also known as a 600D, but uh, a fully charged battery and a properly formatted SD card. Uh, this is what I'd like to call a soft mod called Magic Lantern, and it's a open source way of unlocking all the different features that you should have had available straight from Canon, but uh, didn't because I guess they just didn't want to work on the software, which is fine because uh, Magic Lantern works great for if you wanted a lot of options like for video tools or different options for taking pictures. A lot of the Canon DSLR cameras are supported. Before you begin, make sure to put your camera in manual mode, then go to the format option and do a low level format on the card. Then if you're like me and you haven't updated your firmware in a while, you might want to go over to Canon's website, download the stock firmware for your camera. Uh, it's as simple as downloading the file, the dragging it onto the SD card and then just popping it into your camera. Uh, go to the firmware update option. Through the magic of editing, I can speed up the updating process. It only took about three or four minutes to update. So in the case of the T3i, I'm going to download the stable 2.3 Magic Lantern version and drag over the 600D.fir and the ML folder and the auto exec bin. So what that's going to do is when you pop in the card into your DSLR, it'll boot up and install the custom firmware. So same as before, go to the firmware update selection on the camera, load the update, go back to the manual screen for just a moment. And then if it works properly, Magic Lantern will install from the SD card. You'll be presented with this uh, awesome little green screen saying success. Turn off your camera and take the SD card out again. Download the most current version of Magic Lantern, but before you drag and drop it over to your SD card, and don't format your SD card. Just delete the all the folders on your SD card, so that's including all the old files and the DCIM and the MIC. Just delete those off the card. Don't format the card, and then drag the uh, updated Magic Lantern ML folder and the autoexec.bin file. Next, when you turn on your camera, you'll be presented with what looks like a normal screen, but if you hit the info button and go through the display options, you will now have this display. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of different information on the screen. In the top left, you have audio options, you have the camera temperature, the name, file name, the uh, actual frames per second, because uh, I'm in movie record mode right now, the size of uh, gigabytes that you have left on the card, um, a bunch of different options. And if you press the display button uh, right behind the dial on the on your uh, T3i, you will have options for setting the white balance. So if you push the display button and then the set button, you can adjust the white balance on the fly. Uh, super handy for you know moving the shots around and stuff like that. Uh, there's also options for adjusting the ISO. 
Uh, and if you hit the menu button, you'll just go back to the regular uh, Canon menu. But if you hit the trash can, you'll be presented with the magic lantern options with a bunch of different stuff in there. I'm going to be honest, I don't know a lot of them, and I'm just going to focus on the movie stuff that I'm, I'm interested in and know about for uh, this project. But uh, you can thumb through the different options, and there's a lot of different things that you can do with your camera now that are unlocked. So depending on what you want to do, photography or videography, uh, a lot of these options are super helpful to have. And the number one, uh, one I like to have is the over override audio setting, so I can see uh, the audio um, input at the top of the screen so I know if I'm getting audio when I'm recording something Canon should have uh, had from the beginning but you know whatever another one that I really like is the magic zoom option and you notice if you select it and you hit Q it brings up more options uh, and you can set the button that it's set to uh, for to bring up that option and I have it set to the plus button so when I hit the plus button on the camera it brings up this magic zoom box in the bottom left hand corner and what this is really helpful for is focusing on things because sometimes it's it's hard to tell if you're focused on something you have also a couple of options for waveform or histogram also another one I like is zebras uh, so if you can set that that uh, if anything that's absolute white will show up as has like zebra hatch pattern on it and that's helpful if like things are overexposed uh, you can also do vignetting if you want to get that uh, Top Gear vignette kind of style for certain shots or something. And like I said, you can adjust the ISO on the fly. Down in the right-hand corner is also another histogram. Uh, another thing you can turn on is focus peak. If you you can see, there's it looks like little red dots on some of the things in the picture there. That's showing where the focus is. Now, armed with that information, you can set up your... Your old, can you can breathe some new life into your camera and have the options that you've always wanted, uh, depending on whether you're doing videography or photography with your uh, your Canon DSLR. That's Magic Lantern in a nutshell. That's wow. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of features that I, you I, get added. Okay, so but here's the thing: mm -hmm. I could see someone saying, "I don't want all those features because." I, I want a DSLR, but I still kind of like the whole idea of pointing and shooting. Right. That looks a little complicated. Who who do you say Magic Lantern's for? Um, Magic Lantern, I would say, is for someone... It's not for someone who's brand new to DSLRs. Like, say you bought one, and you've taken a few photos, and then you've had it for a few months, you've gotten really comfortable taking shots and stuff, and but you want a couple of extra... Information, like for especially if you're doing video, because if you're trying to do video on the T3i, it doesn't show you the audio levels. Uh, so okay. you start recording, you right. don't know if there's audio being recorded or not. Um, so before I used to just like have a separate audio recorder just to be sure. Um, now I can like see the levels and stuff like that on there. And uh, as far as like battery life, I'm not 100% sure if that affects it very much. Uh, it is. It will like ruin your warranty if something. Okay. Yeah, like, so something. Ha yeah. Something so could go wrong. Put this on a camera that's out of warranty. Yeah. Exactly. Basically. And All it's. Right. Yeah. I mean, I have to reiterate. It's only for Canon cameras. There's only. Um, Alex, if you have my laptop, I have some of the supported cameras lined up. Uh, it's all of these Canon cameras, and the T4i, uh, I guess, is still kind of in beta, and maybe a couple of the others. So it's not like super official or anything, but it works well. Um, Does it work on the 70D? Of course, the 70D is supposed to be their more professional one, so it should have all of this stuff already built yeah. in, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so for me, like, when I bought the T3i, I, that was my first DSLR, like, and I've had it for, you know, years, and I've never, never messed with it until now, and I'm really happy, though, to have these extra features. Right. You know? And, and slow-mo was mentioning it can be buggy, which is, yeah, yeah anytime buggy. you're playing with custom firmware, yeah, you have the potential for it to maybe not work exactly the way you want it. Right. I, I kind of compare it to loading up uh, a DDWRT or OpenWRT mm -hmm. on a router. It's the same hardware, and it technically does the same functions that the out-of-the-box firmware did. It just opens up more p potential for you to make a mistake. Yes, <laughs> yes. You, it, so yeah, that's the same yeah. same thing. Yeah, you wouldn't, if someone was brand into routers, you probably wouldn't tell Don't them to install that. DDWRT right, right off the bat. Yeah. And if this is their first DSLR and they're, they're just learning how to take photographs, don't install Magic Lantern because no. they'll they'll, add, they'll turn on a feature that is now messing up all their their settings and they have no idea how to right. how to fix it. It's for someone who might be considering buying a whole nother 
camera because it has more features. Like uh, I know Russell pointed out that a lot of Sony cameras come with a, a lot of those features standard. It's like your camera is capable of doing it. The firmware right. just makes you allows you to do it. Fleek in the chat room says Magic Lantern is for those who want to nerf their DSLR. <laughs> Unnerf? No, yeah. do, do nerf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, this is interesting. I, I would really like to try this on, on Leo's new camera. He just got this Canon. Yeah, that's and this, really this nice This is a camera. really nice... Um, hmm. 